Canadian model Winnie Harlow was bullied at school over her vitiligo, which causes patches of skin to lose pigmentation. After dropping out of school, she was discovered by Tyra Banks on Instagram. Winnie went on to take part in America's Next Top Model and became a decidual brand representative. She starred on magazine covers and music videos and scored a diesel campaign. Melanie Gatos Melanie Gato's rare genetic condition makes her bones, teeth, pores, and nails form abnormally. As well as this echodermal dysplasia, she is partially blind and has alopecia, but that hasn't stopped her. The art graduate's modeling career started as a student when she replied to a Craigslist ad searching for unique people for fashion photographers. Speaking about modeling, Melanie said the whole process has made her feel more confident, stronger, and happier. Melanie Stewart Melanie Stewart made headlines for walking at New York Fashion Week in September 2015. The Australian teenager then returned the following February, which made her the first model with Down syndrome to take to the runway twice at New York Fashion Week. Her mother revealed she's now a professional model. And Madeline wrote on her website about her wish to change society's view of people with disabilities, creating awareness, acceptance, and inclusion through modeling. Sean Ross Sean Ross made history when he became the first African-American albino model to do a big show. That big show was at New York Fashion Week in 2008 for Tim Hamilton, when Sean was still just a teenager. The New Yorker was discovered on YouTube when a photographer saw a video of the then 16-year-old dancing. He's gone on to feature in various editorials and to walk in several Fashion Week shows. Casey Legler at first glance, you may not think there's anything unusual about male model Casey Legler. That's until you discover she's actually a woman. Casey made history as the first woman Ford models signed to their men's board. She has written about the responsibility she feels towards kids who are different, and how her job is done if images of her make it easier for those kids and the people around them to focus on figuring out who they are. Andreja Page Female model Andre J. Page was born Andre and a man. As a child, she moved from her homeland Bosnia to Australia as a political refugee. At 17, she was scouted as a male model and moved to London. She went on to model John Paul Gaultier's female and male collections in 2011. By 2014, she completed her gender reassignment. Andre Ja is making history, being the first transgender model to front a cosmetics campaign and to be profiled by a male. American Vogue. Tess Holiday. Tess Holiday has won a legion of fans for her body positivity message. But the plus size model has also got a lot of haters who criticize her size 22 figure. In 2013, the American model started an F Your Beauty Standards movement on Instagram. In 2015, Tess became the largest plus size model to sign to a mainstream modeling agency when Milk Model Management snapped her up. Erica Irvin. Erica Irvin was entered into the Guinness World Records book for being the tallest professional model in the world in 2011. But the nearly 6 foot 8 model waited until 2014 to reveal that she used to be a man. She explained that although she made the transition in 2004, she learned to keep it a secret as she didn't feel people accepted it. The transgender model is also an actress and scored a role as Amazon Eve on American Horror Story Freak Show. Rick Janess one look at Rick Janess and it's clear why he's known as Zombie Boy. The Canadian model received media coverage for his living skeleton tattoos, and his modeling career took off after Lady Gaga's fashion director, Nicola Formacetti, discovered him via a Facebook fan page. He walked in the Thierry Mugler show in 2011 and gained widespread recognition when he starred in Gaga's Born This Way video. He went on to become L'Oreal's first ever male spokesperson. Molly Blair. Molly Blair's slender figure sparked heated debates about the re-emergence of anorexia chick. The six-foot-one American model has revealed she was teased for looking like an alien and praying mantis growing up, but she was discovered at a New York flea market, signed to Elite London, and started walking for everyone. All this before she even turned 18.